we know that 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians. So if I divide both sides by 2, that means 180 degrees is pi radians. So this conversion can actually tell us how to convert uh, between degrees and radians. So if I were to divide both sides by, uh, let's say, pi, the pi's would cancel. So that tells us that one radian is equal to 180 degrees divided by pi. Okay, I could have divided by 180, and then I would have gotten that 1 degree is equal to pi radians over 180. So using these two conversions, let's convert uh, back and forth. So for example, let me give you something with degrees. Let's say that theta is 60 degrees. If I want to convert this to radians, I'm going to use the second conversion because this is degrees to radians. So this means that we would have 60 replace the degrees with pi over 180 and then simplify as needed. So 60 into 180 would go three times. So this is the same thing as pi over 3 radians. Let's do another one. Let's say that theta is 150 degrees. So again, replacing a degree with pi over 180, canceling as needed. Uh, so let's see, I think we can take a 30 out of both of these. So 30 into 150 would be 5, 30 into 180 would be 6, so 5 pi over 6 radians. Let's go the other way. Let me give you something in radians going to degrees. So let's say that theta is uh, 3 pi over 4. Now again, if there's nothing written here, we assume it to be radians, and that's what I'm going to do. So 1 radian is the same thing as 180 degrees divided by pi. Okay, 4 goes into 180 45 times. The pi's cancel. So then 3 times 45 would be 135 degrees. All right, one more. Let's say that theta is, let's say it's 30 radians. So if I want to change this over into degrees, and I would multiply this again by 180 degrees divided by pi. Okay, nothing cancels. We're just going to multiply this out. So 18 times 3 would be 54. And then 10 times 10 is 100. Divide this by pi. Looks crazy, but yeah, this is our answer.